the title of this mini podcast is Helpless. To my mind, there's no bigger form of fear than feeling helpless. Helplessness neuters options, and it smothers hope, leaving us with just unadulterated fear. The good news is that helplessness too often has been misidentified. When we mistakenly adjudge ourselves as being helpless, we give away any personal power we can muster to provide help. How do we know we've misidentified helplessness? When we offer a litany of excuses for not acting. Genuine helplessness doesn't need an excuse. Another way to know that we've manufactured helplessness is when we're aware that many others in very similar circumstances have successfully acted. Acting and action are the operative words. Acting helpless is what we do when we know something can be done, but we claim we can't do it. Taking action is the cure for manufactured helplessness. And as the grasshopper reminded us years ago, doing diffuses fear. It's only when action is not an option that helplessness is real. Feeling helpless? Ask yourself this. Have others in the same set of circumstances successfully acted? If the answer is yes, you're acting helpless if you don't act. The antidote for the poison of acting helpless is taking action. You don't have to climb a mountain in a day. You can take steps that take you to the foothills first and then work your way up. You can certainly choose not to act in actionable circumstances, but then you can no longer claim you're helpless. This is more than semantics. Acting helpless gets the same result as genuine helplessness, fear. Recognize that you have given undue power to the word helpless when you misuse it and that you needlessly suffer. Feeling helpless? If there's an action you can begin, begin it. Again, action is the antidote for acting helpless. It removes manufactured fear and presents options to act on. All the best, John.